Today, I'm going to talk about one simple habit that stands between you and greatness. One single thing which you are doing wrong, which probably, probably all of us are doing wrong. And I'll give, I'll share one practice. If we can adopt, you'll be able to break it, change it, and take your life and career to a totally different level. What is that thing? Let's start with this example. Let's say you get a message on WhatsApp. Typically, how long does it take for you to reply to that message? It varies, but a lot of us will reply within 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Rarely do you wait for two hours to reply to a message. And yet, if you have something which is not urgent, let's say you have to learn a new skill, complete an online program, work on some long-term project, maybe you're a salesperson and you have to build the sales funnel, talk to cust potential customers who will not give business today, but you may get business six months or one year later. Working on things which are valuable, but they give benefits only in the long term. Those things, they always get postponed. They never get done. This is the ultimate paradox of urgent over important. I'll give you a real hard example. About seven, eight years ago, I was talking to this guy who runs a content company. They make amazing online courses. And at that time, they were the most, one of the most popular online course creators on Udemy. And this guy, he told me that 97% people who buy their online courses do not go beyond the third video, all right? Only 3% people go to the fourth video or beyond that. So how many complete it? Maybe like 1%, probably not even that. Is that not shocking? We have time to reply to stupid WhatsApp messages and emails and Slack and, and do all that stuff. We are constantly busy. And yet, we don't have time for things that will truly change our life. Now, we might say, oh, we are stupid. No, we are not stupid. I'll come to that. There is a reason why we do that. And yet, that reason is not good enough. We need to change. So let's now understand the reason behind this compulsive behavior where we prioritize the urgent over the important. If we just rewind the clock back by, say, like one lakh years and think about our ancestors living in the savannas or in, the, in those forests, and they're just trying to survive. In the wild, survival in the moment was practically all that mattered. There was nothing which was long-term. Everything was short-term. That is the mindset that has come to us. And even today, the way it expresses it is in, in our life is, think about this. Let's say you have a, have a WhatsApp message. What happens when you see that there's a message, you know, you have not read it, it's unread one. We feel that urgency, yes, let me check. And once we check, we feel compelled to reply. And if we don't, we feel some discomfort. With the email, same thing. It's not that, that compulsive, but it's still there. The point here is that when there is something that is urgent, if we do not do it, you could even take an example of a deadline, which is even more powerful, something which I need to get done tomorrow. Then what happens? Now we start, if we don't do it, we start feeling that angst, we start feeling nervous, essentially, Urgency creates feelings, these uncomfortable feelings, and we want to get rid of those feelings. Whereas a course that you have to finish or a skill you have to learn, which will take one or two years, and that may change your job profile completely, but it's two years. If you don't do it today, does it make you uncomfortable? No. When it's urgent stuff not doing it, you feel it, you feel the discomfort. When it's important but long-term, you know it, but you know it intellectually. You don't feel it in your bones. So here, there's a classic sort of battle between things we feel and things that we know, but we don't feel. Unfortunately, the way our brain is designed, our feelings always trump intellectual knowledge. So that is why we always run to reply to the WhatsApp message. We have time for that, yet we never have time to sit and do these long-term things, all right? And in today's economy, the people who are able to invest time into these long-term things, they and only they are the ones who are able to make progress. Now, when we fall for this fallacy, very often the, our rationalization is that, oh, we don't have time. But think about it. Look at the last six months. Every day, every day in these last six months, we might have felt, 
oh, we don't have time. Six months, it's too far off. But look at last six months. Does it seem like it, it was, it's that far off? The six months just went by. Year will just go by. Time flies by. We don't, real, we, we don't realize. We just underestimate it. We think that we think that one year is like too long. It's not too long. One year, two years, three years, they will all go by. And therefore, to change this, I'm going to recommend a specific and simple practice. Every single day, earmark one hour. Ideally, one fixed time. Or if you cannot have one fixed hour, keep it as close to fixed as possible. So it could be maybe 7 to 8 p.m. or 7 to 8 30 p.m. Or it could be after lunch or it could be maybe before you go to sleep. So fine, peg it to something fixed. A fixed time or maybe after your dinner, after, after breakfast, some such time slot. And for that one hour, you will strictly only do things which are non-urgent. These things have to be important, but they have to be important and long-term. Because urgent stuff, that is getting done. You have 8-10 hours of work day, you will do urgent stuff. This is for strictly non-urgent stuff. And once you start doing it, trust me, in a matter of days, you will see such dramatic progress. It will just surprise you. We run boot camps for learning and learning is one of those things which is, which is not, not urgent quite often. And yet, even a couple of weeks of consistent learning, people are able to finish chapters and, and videos and online courses. Consistency is what changes everything. All right. So this is one practice, one hour a day for non-urgent stuff. Do this and you will see how you build your life. And six to 12 months as they go by, you will find you'll be sitting practically on a different planet. Not literally, but in terms of achievement and progress. I hope you found this useful. And if you did, do subscribe to this channel. And I look forward to talking to you again. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.